Yeah, first and foremost, welcome to the Multimune Challenge. Um, I'm really glad to have you guys on board for starters. <coughs> and secondly, um, <coughs> excuse me, I uh, just wanted to show you what, yeah, what, what our topics are. So today's webinar is going to be broken up into two sections. First of all, we're going to provide some product training around how Multimune works, its benefits for uh, fertility immunity as well. And also how to use Multimine with other animal health products as well, because of course, you know, we need to provide more than just trace minerals to have healthy cattle. And then the second part is mainly around the Multimine challenge itself. So um, all the logistics, uh, mechanics, things like that, how to claim your prize, how to get bonus product, um, the processes and mechanisms involved. Of course, um, also want to provide you guys with some tips and tricks on how to win the challenge itself, because ultimately I think that's what we're here for, to um, you know, progress through and um, you know, do our best to, to win the grand prize, which is the overseas trip to um, uh, international study tour. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flick across to Paula, um, and uh, she's gonna start off with the product training around how Ultimate works. Perfect, so. Okay, I'm going to start showing my screen. Okay. Can you all see my screen, Jerry? Yep. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. And thanks, Jerry, for the introduction and welcome everyone to this 2020 Multimain Challenge. My name is Paula Gonzalez. I'm a vet from Chile. I moved to Australia in 2011 to conduct a master degree at the University of Queensland. And then in 2017, I finished my PhD on ruminant nutrition and heat stress management at the University of Melbourne. After my PhD, I worked in an MLA funded project looking at the effect of heat stress on meat quality. I'm the technical veterinarian for nutrition and one of the multimine challenge mentors at Burbank. And I'm really glad to present this webinar to you today. So this webinar will be very interactive and we would like you to participate and we have created some questions that will be asked during the presentations. Today we will discuss the importance of trace minerals for animal health and performance, the benefit of multimine for immunity and fertility, and as Jerry said, how we can associate multimine with other animal health and nutrition products to maximize productivity. At the end we will have time for some questions and some discussions. So trace minerals are essential nutrients for important metabolic functions. One of the most important functions is to be part of the antioxidant system. Trace minerals are required in very small amount in the diet, but they have very low absorption and are affected by a mineral antagonist in the rumen. Mineral antagonist occurs inside the rumen where macro and trace mineral ingested in feed and water bind together and form complexes of difficult absorption. As a consequence, most of the trace minerals are not utilized by the animal and are wasted in urine and feces, leading also to potential environmental pollution. The strong antagonists of trace minerals in the rumen are iron, sulfur, molybdenum, calcium, and phosphorus, either present in the feed or water, or used as a fertilized fertilizers in pasture. Despite the lower requirement, below optimal levels of trace minerals intake affect significantly animal performance without observing clinical signs of deficiencies. For example, the classical signs of copper deficiencies is this color coat or wool, and sold back in sheep. Of selenium deficiency is white muscle disease and abnormalities of bone growth and development in the case of manganese deficiencies. But those signs of deficiencies are, re are rarely seen if animals are fed a well-balanced mineral diet because they occur when the level of trace mineral intake and the reserves in the animal drops to very low levels. In general, the recommended requirements written in books and guides such as the NRC are designed to avoid deficiencies, but not to promote maximum productivity and health. In addition, trace mineral needs vary according to the production cycle and physiological status. Increased requirements are observed during high demand period, 
such as joining, pregnancy, calving, and weaning. And it's here when suboptimal levels may occur, even if animals receive a well-formulated and balanced trace mineral diet. So you might wonder, if I don't see clinical signs of deficiencies in my animals, do I still need to supplement trace minerals? The answer is yes. Because of optimal levels of trace minerals affect negatively animal performance without observing clinical signs of deficiencies, such as white muscle disease or this color coat. As the trace mineral status of an animal declines, immunity and antioxidant enzyme functions are the first to be compromised, followed by a reduction in fertility. A reduction in growth and classical signs of deficiencies occurs when the level of trace mineral intake are very low and the reserves in the animals are depleted. Therefore, if we see clinical signs of deficiencies, it's already too late because health, immunity, and production were compromised long time ago. As a producer, you cannot allow the trace mineral status in your animals to decrease to deficient levels. The focus of supplementation should be around critical physiological periods for optimal economic return, such as pre-joining, pre-calving, and at vaccination and before high demand periods, such as weaning, transport or extreme weather events. There are different forms of trace mineral supplementation. For example, oral minerals as blocks, loose mixes or water solutions have variable intake and palatability and they are affected by antagonists in the rumen and are not designed to address critical times in the life of our animals. Oral intake of minerals is dependent on voluntary feed and water intake, which in turn vary according to the production, physiological stage, and environmental conditions. For example, a peripartum cow will have naturally reduced feed intake, as also do animals under heat stress. Animals in summer have larger water intake than animals in winter, affecting the constant supply of mineral in water during the year. This is why we recommend Multimin, which is an injectable trace mineral formulation that is rapidly absorbed and readily utilized by the animals, producing a strategic and rapid mineral delivery at time of high demand. Multimin contains copper, selenium, zinc, and manganese for sheep and cattle. We also have a unique formulation of copper-free for sheep and cattle. Multimin enhances the antioxidant system to improve the health and performance of livestock to cover high demand period. Multimin is scientifically proved with more than 25 papers published in scientific journals. Traditionally, oral trace minerals can increase the liver storage levels and provide adequate supplementation in about 45 days, depending, of course, on feed intake. Organic or chelated trace minerals have improvements in their absorption in the digestive tract, reaching adequate liver levels in 21 days. However, multimin is absorbed in 8 hours and reaches adequate liver levels in only 24 hours. Multimin is a top-up trace mineral supplement designed to complement a good nutrition program and is not designed to be used instead of good nutrition. While oral trace minerals help to meet daily requirements for animal maintenance to avoid deficiencies, Multimin is a top-up to supplement the animals during periods of large trace mineral utilization or high demand periods, such as weaning, joining, pregnancy, and calving for animal performance. Multimin has demonstrated benefits for fertility and immunity. Multimin increases the number of calves born by reducing embryolosis. This also brings the benefits of a tighter calving pattern. As a consequence, we have a larger number of animals which are heavier at the point of sale and more sexually mature are first joining. Multimin also improves specific and non-specific immunity, increases postnatal survival, reduces disease incidences, and also increases vaccine responses. Taking this all together, Multimin produces a higher return on the investment. How does
Does multivitamin do all of this by enhancing the antioxidant system? So here we have a first question for you, and I'm going to leave you with Jerry with the questions. Okay, so I'm just going to bring up a poll now, which you guys should see on the screen. Okay. Have you ever heard about antioxidants before? Please select one, yes, no, or unsure. Uh, okay, that was quick, all right. Um, so pretty much everyone's heard of antioxidants, Paula. That's perfect. That's great. So many of you are familiar with the term antioxidant, which is largely used in human medicine to prevent diseases, to boost fertility, and to delay the aging process. But antioxidants are also needed by animals. People and animals produce free radicals as consequence of normal cellular respiration. This is part of a normal process necessary for normal metabolism. Antioxidants neutralize the free radicals to maintain them in an equilibrium. Excessive production of free radicals occurs in periods of high demand, such as joining, pregnancy, calving, weaning, mastering, transport, and also in extreme weather, weather events, such as heat stress. And it's here when the antioxidant system becomes inefficient to neutralize the free radicals. The this build up of free radicals is called oxidative stress and can damage the immune system, fertility, and general health. To prevent oxidative stress, supplementation of antioxidants is required. To neutralize the free radicals, the body needs two antioxidant enzymes. Antioxidant 1, named superoxide dismutase, to turn harmful free radicals into a less dangerous intermediate. Then the body uses antioxidant 2, or glutathione peroxidase, to turn this intermediate into harmless water. This is good because then the water can be eliminated as evaporation or can be utilized as part of metabolic processes. These two antioxidant enzymes actually need the presence of four key trace minerals, copper, manganese, zinc, and selenium. Those trace minerals are found in our multimin product. We have scientific trials that show that after you inject multimin in cattle or sheep, it will elevate the levels of antioxidants. The graph on the left shows the changes in antioxidants in cattle after injection. Bars in red are the control groups and the bars in blue are the animals treated with multimin. You can see that right before injection, the two groups of animals are similar in their antioxidant levels. But a few days after injections, the antioxidant in the multimin treated animals increased significantly. The same thing happened in sheep. The graph in the right is from a much longer study in sheep, and you can see that almost three months after treatment with multimin, the levels of antioxidants were still high. Now, I I will explain in details how multimine benefits immunity. The best way to reduce the cost of diseases in our livestock industry is to improve the animal's immune system, because a stronger immune system means less disease, which, which in turn means higher return for the producer. Oxidative stress damages cells, the immune system, and tissues, making them more susceptible to infections and this is why antioxidants are important to maintain an adequate function of the immune system. The immune system is formed by three parts. First, the skin, which is the largest organ in the body and is the first line of defense against infections and microorganisms. The integrity of the skin, the hoof, the mammary gland, the respiratory and intestinal tract which are the physical barriers against bacteria, is dependent upon trace minerals and antioxidants. Second, the non-specific immune system, which is fast responding and good at dealing with different types of germs. Examples include inflammation and phagocytosis, which is when the white blood cells eat the germs, like you see in this animation. 
And finally, we have the specific immune system, which is specialized to defend against one type of germ and comprises the production of specific antibodies in response to vaccination or previous infections. Specific and non-specific immunity depends upon optimal levels of trace minerals and antioxidants. The effect of multimine on immunity can be measured by determining vaccine response, which are the markers of immune functions. So here we have another question for you about vaccination. Okay, which of the following vaccines do you use? Please select one that applies. Uh, oh, actually, I guess probably would be able to select more than one. Uh, well, but here I've unfortunately um, stuffed up the polls, so you can only choose one. Um, so yeah. Clostridials, Lepto, BID, Pestivirus, and other. Okay, so if you use more than one, maybe um, yeah, write it in the comments um, and then let us know if yeah, you use more than one type of vaccine. Okay, so um, I've got I've got a couple that's come through as uh, that's lepto polar if you're interested. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to close the poll down now. All right. We have demonstrated the effect of multimine improving protected antibody levels using different type of vaccine: clostridial vaccines, pestivirus, respiratory disease, and leptospirosis. You can see in this graph that regardless of what time of vaccine we use, we always saw benefits when we use multimine at the same time as vaccination. The improvement can be between a 16% of increase, which is big and is very important increase, to a massive 136% increase. We also have studies that show what, that when given at the same time as vaccination, multimine can also reduce the time taken for the animal to be protected. In this case, it held the number of days to reach protection against respiratory diseases from 56 days to 28 days. Therefore, in the event of a disease outbreak or a challenge of disease on these animals, in a month after vaccination, animals treated with multimine are more likely to survive than those that did not receive multimine. We can see here that studies in Australia and also around the world have demonstrated that multimine helps to reduce the number of cases of different diseases like mastitis, endometritis, scars, and pneumonia, reducing the number of veterinary treatment and antibiotic usage. In the dairy industry, we know that the incidence and severity of diseases is greatest during the transition period. During transition period, there is huge metabolic and hormonal changes characterized by a negative energy balance in response to the nutritional demands of lactation. This results in metabolic diseases, impairments of immune function, and oxidative stress. Several studies have demonstrated the benefits of increasing the antioxidant status using multimine at dry off to support the transition period, reducing peripartum diseases. We have also demonstrated that topping up trace minerals before calving supports the early life of the newborn. Newborn animals, lambs, calves, and even human babies are born with a very undeveloped immune system. In order to survive the first month of life, they depend on maternal antibodies ingested via colostrum. They are also born with trace minerals reserves in the liver that correspond to 30% of the mom's reserves. Those first trace mineral reserves in the, in the calf are utilized rapidly, as you can see in the graph in the right, due to the rapid growth rate, due to the need to establish immunity, and because the cow's milk is very low in trace mineral. This rapid reduction of trace mineral reserve justif justify the use of multimine to supplement trace mineral at the time of weaning, which is the most demanding period for the physiology, for the physiology and metabolism of a young animals. 
So now let's talk about fertility. The value of a good reproductive system on livestock is obvious. With good reproductive health, we have more calves and lambs early in the season and fewer empties, which means more profit. There are two parts of the equation when considering animal fertility, and both require antioxidants. On the male side, we need to make sure that the sperm are healthy. Sperm are very sensitive to free radical damage. Therefore, if we can provide the males with antioxidants, then they will be better protected. This means better male fertility. On the female side, oxidative stress is directly linked to increased embryolosis, delayed pregnancy, increased calving interval, and increased number of empties. So again, and just like the sperm, embryos are also very sensitive to free radical damage, which can ultimately result in lost pregnancy. The risk of losing an embryo early in the pregnancy is very high. If we are able to provide high levels of antioxidant at this stage, we can protect the embryo and can help, uh, we can help carry the pregnancy to term. We have run several trials by giving multimine one month before various uh, breeding programs in cattle, such as artificial insemination, natural joining, and embryo transfer. Overall, you can see here that there is an improvement in the total number of pregnancies at the end of the breeding program. In other words, there is a modest decrease in the number of empties at the end. But more impressive still is the impact that multimine ha has on early conception rates. That is the number of pregnancies occurring during the first cycle. Here we can see there is around 11 to 14 percent increase in the number of cows that conceive in the first cycle after being treated with multimine, producing a tight calving pattern. A tight calving pattern brings long-term benefits. Cows and heifers that calf early result in early pregnancy for the rest of the productive life. Heifers are older, heavier, and sexually mature adjoining, being able to bear a successful pregnancy to term. It also reduces labor costs and the cost on feed and animal health. It produces an easy weaning because all calves will have similar age and weight, and subsequently we can market and even move at the point of sale. Now let's move to the males. The benefits of multimine on male fertility is very important. Giving multimine 90 days before joining can help to increase semen quality. This trial shows a 22% increase in the number of sperm in the ejaculate of bulls given multimine. The same trial also showed an improvement in motility, or how well the sperm swim, and morphology, or how they look and if they appear normal. Ultimately, all this means that you have more bulls passing the breeding soundness exam. We will now have a look at the best time to use multimine. To improve fertility, we recommend injecting multimine to all breeding females four weeks before joining and calving, and to bulls 12 weeks before joining and also adjoining to improve spermatogenesis. If cows are given a dose pre calving, the calf should have received enough trace minerals from the mom to recover until weaning, supporting immunity and survival. We recommend injecting multimine at weaning associated with vaccines and four weeks before high demand periods to allow antioxidant levels to peak. In dairy cows, we recommend using multimine also at dry off to ensure that adequate amounts of trace minerals are transferred to the fetus, and also to ensure adequate, that adequate levels of trace minerals remain in the cow to support the transition periods and improve her immunity and a fast return to the cycle. We understand that not everyone would handle the animals exactly four weeks before a high demand period. However, this is a guide only, and you can certainly discuss with us the best time to use multimine according to your management practice, practices and objectives. For best result, multimine should be administered every year, every three months. Multimine is a registered pharmaceutical product. Follow the dose rate, 
outlined on the label and do not exceed them. Dosing to the lightest instead of the heaviest in the mob is a very good rule of thumb. Do not use multimine in emaciated or sick animals. And just like other drugs, more is not necessarily better. Multimine has very low rate of adverse events, but excessive copper and selenium can be toxic. Multimine must be injected subcutaneously. For best practice, we highly recommend applying at the side of the neck in the area shown on the diagram and separate from other injectable animal health product. We have had a recurrent question about the use of multimine associated with other animal health or nutrition product. So here we have the final question for you. Okay, so if you have used multimine before, which of the following animal health products do you use at the same time? Uh, tick, ooh, again, I've, I've stuffed this one up. You're supposed to be able to tick more than one, but unfortunately I've only um, allowed for one selection at a time. Um, but yeah, if you use any of these products, let us know which ones they are. Okay, uh, so Paula, we've got a couple of answers back now. Um, I think both Rosie and Dave, uh, they, they use multimedia at the same time as vaccines. Uh, Dave's just put up okay. his hand. Um, did, you, did you want to write in the question box any, any other concerns or questions that you had, Dave? In the meantime, I'm, I'm just going to shut down this poll. Yeah, and we can use the chat box to write the question and then we can have a discussion at the end. Mm -hmm, Great, absolutely. thanks for answering the, the questions. Oh, well, here we go. Um, Dave says, uh, yeah, he, also, he also uses it with uh, AD&E as well. Okay, perfect, perfect. We are going to cover that point right now. So we certainly recommend using multimine with other registered nutrition and pharmaceutical products such as vitamin ADE and vitamin B12 as hydroxocobalamin or cobalt boluses. Vitamin A and E intake is reduced during period of dry pasture intake. Vitamin A complements zinc function, improving skin quality and fertility. Males need supplementation of vitamin A after two months on dry pasture because seminal degeneration occurs in two months and sterility in six months if not enough vitamin A is supplied. Vitamin E complements selenium activity supporting the antioxidant function. Vitamin B12 is necessary for energy and protein utilization and cobalt is a trace mineral necessary for the production of B12 by rumen microorganisms. However, we don't recommend using multimine with other injection of boluses containing selenium or copper or the use of selenium grown at the same time of multimine. High levels of copper and selenium are toxic, producing acute or chronic toxicity. They accumulate and can reduce the safety of the product. We also don't recommend using multimine associated with B12 containing high levels of cyanocobalamin because it, it might reduce the efficacy of multimine. Vitamin B12 injections are recommended for the immediate treatment of animals showing clinical signs of vitamin B12 deficiencies and for the prevention in cobalt deficient area. But you need to know that not all commercially available sources of vitamin B12 are the same. Hydroxycobalamin is a longer acting form of B12 and is the B12 of choice in animal and human medicine. It has high affinity to plasma and liver protein, has very rapid absorption, very good distribution and storage, and interestingly, has some antioxidant activity. Hydroxocobalamin can be used every three to four months. Cyanocobalamin, by contrast, is a shorted acting form of vitamin B12. It is poorly absorbed, rapidly excreted in urine, and needs to be used every two weeks. It's not the best form of vitamin B12 for livestock. Cyanocobalamin requires the utilization of antioxidants to become active in the body. Remember that antioxidants are important for several other functions such as immunity and fertility and need to be used smartly. 
So in terms of vaccines, we also recommend using multivin associated with plain vaccines or vaccines containing B12 as hydroxocobalamin because multivin helps to enhance vaccine response. But we don't recommend using multivin with vaccines containing selenium because the simultaneous use may cause selenium overdose. We also recommend using multivin associated with parasiticides as oral, injectable, or purron solutions for optimal animal health and performance. We have demonstrated that cattle that receive that receive multimine at the same time of cydectin LA has higher body weight gain than animals receiving parasiticide only. But we don't recommend using multimine with drenches containing selenium or copper because the simultaneous use can cause toxicity. Here there are some examples of products that, that, that are adequate to use simultaneous with multimine and other products that are better to avoid either because they contain copper, selenium, or large amount of cyanocobalamin. Therefore, it's very important to read the active ingredients in the label of animal health product be before using them in combination with multimine. I really appreciate your attention and hope this webinar will was very helpful for you in your preparation for the multimine challenge. Please feel free to ask questions, and uh, now I will leave you with Jerry. Great. Thank you, Paula. I'm going to switch the presentation over. If you have any questions, feel free to um, type them in and um, send them over. Um, but in the meantime, what I'll do is I'll open up my presentation and take you guys through um, some of the mechanics and tips and tricks around the Multimine Challenge. Okay, Paula, should be able to see my screen. Is that right? Sorry, I was mute. Yes, yeah. all good. Okay. Great. Okay, so um, I've, I've got here a list of uh, challenges and your corresponding mentors. Um, so David, you can see yourself, uh, you've been assigned to Jess McGrath. Likewise, Rosie and Alan, you guys have been assigned to Rob Yule. Um, so you would have received an email with their contact details. At the same time, we've also contacted your mentors um, and supplied them with your details as well. Um, so they, they know to get in touch with you guys as soon as possible to, to get your multimedia program set up um, as soon as possible. And if you already have a multimedia program, really it's just a matter of, I guess, um, getting to know you and um, yeah, making sure um, you, you guys are all, all, all linked up and ready to go. Um, so just keep in mind that um, you know these, these mentors of yours, they're your first point of con contact regardless of um, whether you'd like to provide feedback questions, comments, anything to do with the challenge, feel free to um, give them a buzz. Um, whether it's a technical or a commercial question, they'll be able to handle it. Um, if not, they'll know where to direct your questions. So um, just um, yeah, don't, don't be shy. They're, they're really there to help you out because you know they're, they're essentially a teammate of yours that they can help you through the Multimine Challenge. Uh, and they certainly do know um, of you if they don't already know who you are. Um, and they, and they, um, they, they know to expect your phone call if you wish to make contact with them first as well. So um, either, yeah, get in contact with them or they'll, if not, they'll be in contact with you pretty shortly anyway. So moving on, one of the first things that I'll send out to you guys is the welcome kit. Uh, so inside you'll find a, a, an assortment of goodies, including a, an insulated mug, a, a pen, uh, a shirt as well, which is why we asked you for your shirt size when you when you first sign up to the challenge. Um, we'll also provide you with uh, some informative brochures and materials um, to explain basically a lot of the information that, that we covered in this webinar, but also the, the treatment guide as well. Um, with, with that, well, for you guys as um, cattle producers, you'll be able to turn the dial there and um, the, the, the wheel shows you the best time to apply the product. Um, as, as per the, the science. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is please join the Multimine Challenge Facebook group. This is really quite important because it's, it's sort of the central hub of the competition. This is where all the action is. Um, to, to join it, just simply search Multimine Performance Ready Challenge through the Facebook search tab and you'll see um, it pop up as one of the groups. Uh, so click on that and, and 
request to join the group and here you'll be able to share your content the results of your um your, your challenge um and ask any questions that you may have you know interact network with your peers other challenges and of course um experts that we have on board as well it's a very valuable resource and uh, also like i mentioned the central hub of, of where all the where all the action is for the challenge um, so if you haven't done that, please do so. Um, now, winning free products, I think, you know, it's good to say everyone likes some free products. So um, there, there's no limit to how much free multimin you can win. This is, um, it's, it's not like a lucky draw or anything. It, it's a, I guess you can call it a, a game of skill. Uh, the way it works is uh, you submit your content to that Facebook group that I just showed you guys. And um, if it's like a testimonial type content, so for example, you've used a product and you want to share your results, uh, you know, uh, let's say I, I use Multimin on my wieners, uh, they're now looking fantastic, here are some photos, for example. Um, we'll take a look at that post um, and if we really like it, what we can do is we can convert that into a, like, a, like a flyer or an advert of some sort. And if we choose to pu publish it in that way, what we'll do is we'll send you guys out a free pack, a free 500 mil pack of Multimin. Uh, obviously for you guys it would be Multimin cattle, uh, but of course if you decided to, you know, start a sheep operation, we'd be happy to send you some sheep product as well. Um, so th there is no limit to how much product you can win. Uh, it's one per unique um, accepted testimonial submission and then we'll get your mentor to deliver that to you. Um, in addition to that, there's also bonus product, which is a completely separate thing. So um, as you purchase Multimin um, during the challenge period, um, we'd like to support you guys back, of course, as well, by providing you with some bonus product on top of what you what you normally use. Um, so when you set up your Multimin program with your Verbeck mentor, uh, and then you go off and buy some Multimin, what you can do is then um, provide that proof of purchase back to your mentor to say, hey, look, I've purchased a Multimin. What they can do then is provide you with some more free Multimin. So for example, uh, if you if you purchase three by 500 mils, uh, so three packs of 500 mils, we'll give you 200 mils for free, uh, which works out to be a 13% discount, I guess, if you want to calculate it that way. Um, and if you if you buy say six packs, or rather for every six packs that you buy, um, you you get one free 500 mil pack. So that works out to be a little bit more at 16%. Uh, um, the only caveat here is that um, just want to make sure that everyone understands that the bonus product is for your own personal use. Uh, we reserve the right to dishonor claims if we suspect that um, the product is going to be resold. Um, so for example, if the claims are for, let's say, you know, 8,000 packs or something ludicrous like that. Um, but, you know, for the most part, I guess it's just, uh, it'll work on an honor system. Okay, so on to um, some tips and tricks about winning the competition. So. Um, the way the competition works is you, you submit your content onto the Facebook group um, and then all, that, that's our way of, I guess, well, one of the ways in which uh, all the challenges get judged. So there are three main criteria uh, in which you'll be judged against in order of importance. Number one, first and foremost, the most important aspect is the amount of engagement and participation you guys provide. So this is, um, you know, to do with how many posts you um, you make uh, the quality of these posts and also all these activities around multimin that, that you um, wish to participate in. So these are all very favorably looked upon. Um, secondly, it's the ability to follow the program. So if um, you and your uh, mentor agree on a, on a multimin treatment program, if you follow that program, that's of course beneficial as well. And results, although um, important, it, it's arguably the least important because um, you know, it, it's great that everyone has great results. I mean, I think it's, uh, you know, probably the, one of the major benefits of the product. But having said that, um, it's very hard for us to compare uh, across different species and breeds, for example. I mean, just um, with, with, with you, Dave and Rosie, you know, comparing beef to dairy is <laughs> not really easy to do. It's not apples to apples. And, and likewise, once we get the sheep producers in the mix, they're going to be using completely different products as well. So um, results are never going to be the most important criteria that we judge against. It's more around yeah, how actively you guys participate within the competition. 
Um, so here are some examples of uh, photos that have been taken uh, both in and out of the previous Multimin challenge. Uh, so on the photo on the left was submitted by um, one of our uh, WA challenges in the last competition. And you can see it's you know, a very simple photo that I think is, is a really nice type of thing to submit. Um, it's basically a side-by-side -side comparison of cattle given Multimin cattle that don't. And the visual impact there I think is quite strong and um, both uh, the, the judges and also um, uh, the, the general uh, public love seeing these types of photos. Um, and likewise, if, if you didn't want to separate the mob, what you can do is take before and after photos like that you see there on the right as well. So these are um, some Wagyu cattle uh, from the North Coast. Um, so they, they, these um, wieners, I believe they were at the time, were given uh, both multimin and cycling long acting on uh, and then you can see that the difference in the coat colour and the condition of the animals, which again is, is a really nice thing, uh, really nice type of thing to submit. Um, so uh, one thing I didn't cover is the judging panels. So other than um, Paula and myself, of course, who will make up the judging panel, um, we have also secured the former uh, finalists from the last Multimin Challenge. So um, they, of course, being the finalists, know uh, what, what a good multi-min challenger looks like because obviously they were the good multi-min challengers. Um, so I think yeah, getting their input on, on the um, selection process is going to be uh, very important as well. And after every round, um, we'll select two finalists to go into the grand final, which then uh, will be again um, re-selected, I guess. Uh, and and um, that, that's how we pick the, the overall winner for, for the competition. Um, so, so some more examples of, of types of things you can post. So, you know, you can see there on the left-hand side, re regular Facebook updates. It's definitely a good thing. Um, so you can make these as long as or as short as you like. We do quite like these long, um, uh, I guess, blog type posts. It's, it's really interesting to see what goes on in your property. Um, and, you know, showing, giving us some results, uh, whether it be, um, you know, something that you can measure or something that you can see. These are all really valuable and important things. Uh, number two, you can see there, speaking at seminars, a lot of our, uh, well, a lot of your mentors will be running seminars. Um, and if it's in an area that is, you know, relatively close to where you live, I think it's going to be fantastic if, if you uh, don't mind getting up and, and, you know, telling them about, telling the audience about, you know, your property, the multiple challenge, things like that. Um, it, it's definitely going to be very favourable um, when it comes to judging time. And then finally, if you host any events, of course, that's, that's going to be fantastic as well. So uh, whether you have your own, for example, bull sale or uh, field day, um, yeah, definitely do invite us along and we can certainly help you out with the PR and all that type of stuff as well to get, to get people there. Um, and again, that's very favourably looked upon. So in terms of the types of online Facebook post type things um, to submit, I've just given you a, a couple of uh, examples of, um, you know, really nice posts. So, of course, you can post videos about, um, you know, just showing you giving the treatment. Um, th this is really interesting because people like seeing the product being used. People like seeing your animals. People like seeing your setup. Um, and also, just, you know, general animal photos. Um, they're, they're quite popular as well. And just to see, you know, how, how great, great and shiny your cattle look after a uh, um, a shot of multimin, for example. And finally, um, video updates are fantastic as well. So this could just be you sitting in front of the camera and just talking to the camera, um, you know, with the animals in the background maybe, and just, just to tell us uh, what you've done. Um, it, you know, it's very similar to writing a blog, except instead of typing it out, you know, you, you just um, being a little bit more interactive, um, show, showing the world who you are and all that type of stuff. Again, uh, it's a fantastic way to, um, excel your progress and um, it, it, like increase the odds of winning, I guess. Um, now on to some photography tips. Taking photos, I think it's probably yeah, a little bit easier these days when um, everyone has a smartphone and cameras tend to be pretty decent. So if you, if you take a photo, um, you can certainly upload it onto the Facebook group and it doesn't really matter how you frame the photo as long as you, you get your subject into the shot. Um, so you can hold your camera either vertically or horizontally, I'm not too fussed. But 
when it comes to taking videos, I do want to stress one thing, and it's a bit of a pet peeve of mine. Um, a lot of people like to film vertically, but I would strongly recommend against this. I don't think video should ever be filmed vertically. Um, uh, I recommend filming videos horizontally. And the reason for this is, is this next slide that you see. Um, so you can see if you film vertically and you play the video on a large screen, which is obviously how people mostly watch videos, um, the, the problem there is that it basically cuts off the side and you get this tiny little strip of video running down the middle that looks pretty, pretty terrible really, in my opinion. Um, whereas the horizontal video is more true to what you know, video should look like, it gives it that cinematic look. Um, so when filming uh, any form of video, I'd recommend just keeping that in mind. So content submission, essentially the competition, it starts today. Um, so you guys have, you know, gotten the jump on everyone else by being the first to tune into the webinar. So feel free to get out and, you know, start making content, start posting, and it certainly all will be um, tracked. Um, and you can keep doing that all the way up until early June where um, the, the, the um, uh, I guess the content submission closes for round one, in which case then the, the, the um, finalists will be announced um, after the judging. Um, and just to remind everyone, the uh, grand prize is the overseas trip for two, um, as well as uh, roughly speaking a year's worth of free multi-min. Um, Second and third prize would be six months worth of free multimint, but we've also got what's called a, a public choice, a people's choice award, in which um, we'll open up public voting. Um, and then the, the winner of the people's choice award can win an additional um, six months worth of multimint. And that's on top of all the other prizes. So for example, if you win the grand prize, and you're the People's Choice Award winner, then it means that you get um, both awards. So you'll get the overseas trip, the 12 months of free multi -min, and also the additional six months of free multi -min. So pretty substantial prize pack up for grabs and don't forget all the bonus um, prizes uh, that you can win throughout the competition as well in terms of submitting content.